paste it. Ready? Today's topic is bond. Ionic. Bond. Bond. Covalent. Bond. And bond. Metallic. Bond. So we're going to talk about bonding today. You know? And we, you know, we have some general <coughs> thoughts in our head when we think about bonding. Hey, Josh. All right? You know, if we talk about, you know, for example, team bonding. Like maybe the football team, you know, had a big kumbaya thing where they all got together and, and built some bond, right? What does that mean? It means there's some kind of attraction or some type of thing that holds things together. Well, in chemistry, the things that are held together is always driven by electrons and what they do with electrons. Now, there are three major types of bonding. We're going to talk about each of them individually. And the first one is something called bond ionic bond. So, ionic bond. Now, I'm going to note a couple of words when I talk about this. There's a couple of things I want to make sure that we really, really emphasize. In an ionic bond, it is the transfer. And yes, I've written it that big on purpose. Of electrons. from a metal to a non-metal. The transfer of electrons from a metal to a non-metal. It's gone. Transfer. So if I transfer something, it means I'm completely giving up ownership of it. So let's give you an example. Probably the one you're most familiar with. And let's build on our knowledge from yesterday. So I'll be off the camera for a second here, but that's okay. I think you can still hear. Let everyone look at the periodic table and find sodium. It's right here, right? Tell the person sitting next to you what type of element sodium is. What group does it belong to? It's a metal. So the person sitting oh, next to you, sodium. What group does it belong to? Miss Tar, what group does it belong to? All right, am I recording again? So, we had a little bit of technical difficulty there, but we're back online. So, come on, come back. CL, what type of thing is it? Turns an H. Halogen, and how many valence? Seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. I almost forgot my S's. So what is chlorine desperately looking to do, y'all? Gain, Gain an electron. So what happens is this. Sodium says, absolutely, I'd love to give you an electron. And sodium says, I'm going to go ahead and give it away. And literally, it's a transfer. If this pen was an electron, right, then sodium says, here, take it. It's yours. It's gone. Okay. Okay. I want to. Okay. Thank you. So we have a total. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, that was a pretty good throw, guys. I too. I say it was a good catch. So what happens is this: because of this, we form ions. Because here's what happens: sodium is now lost an electron. So what charge does it take on? It loses an electron, positive. So therefore, sodium becomes Na with a plus one charge. And then chlorine gains that electron, doesn't it? So what does its charge become? Negative. Negative. So you have an Na positive and a Cl minus. Now, this is called a cation. The negative is called an anion. Now, a couple other things having to do with ionic bonding, okay? Um, let's say you have something like calcium that comes along. Am I still on the screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Calcium has two valence electrons. 
And then we'll say chlorine comes along again, just to keep it simple, with seven valence electrons. What's the problem here, class? He wants to get rid of calcium wants to get rid of both, doesn't it? Wants to get rid of two. So you know what calcium will say to chlorine? Get a buddy. Go find a buddy of yours, another chlorine, with seven valence electrons, and then we'll make a deal. What I'll do is I will agree then to give this electron to that one, and I'll agree to give that one to that one. So what you end up making is you end up making something called a chemical compound. And that chemical compound's formula is CaCl2. Why? Because calcium's looking to be plus two charge, and you'd have two chlorines, each being negative one. Capiche? Now, one last thing with uh, regards to this. There's something called electronegativity, right? The ability to attract electrons. Well, the electronegativity difference for an ionic compound, or an ionic, yeah, compound or an ionic bond, the difference between the two things, the calcium and the chlorine, there's two things here. There's a bond here and a bond here. That difference will be greater than 1.01. .01. The end. All right, am I recording again? So, we had a little bit of technical difficulty there, but we're back online. So, come on, come back. CL, what type of thing is it? Turks an H? Halogen. And how many valence? Seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I almost forgot my S. So, what is Corey desperately looking to do, y'all? Gain an electron. So, what happens is this. Sodium says, absolutely, I'd love to give you an electron. And sodium says, I'm going to go ahead and give it away. And literally, it's a transfer. If this pen was an electron, right, then sodium says, here, take it. It's yours. It's gone. Okay? I didn't want to. Thank you. So, we have a total. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty good throw, guys. I do. I say it was a good catch. So what happens is this: because of this, we form ions. Because here's what happens: sodium is now lost an electron. So what charge does it take on? It loses an electron. Positive. So therefore. Sodium becomes Na with a plus one charge. And then chlorine gains that electron, doesn't it? Yeah. So what does its charge become? Negative. Negative. So you have an Na positive and a Cl minus. Now, this is called a cation. The negative is called an anion. Now, a couple other things having to do with ionic bonding, OK? Um, Let's say you have something like calcium that comes along. Am I still on the screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Calcium has two valence electrons. And then we'll say chlorine comes along again, just to keep it simple, with seven valence electrons. What's the problem here, class? He wants to get rid of calcium wants to get rid of both, doesn't it? Wants to get rid of two. So you know what calcium will say to chlorine? Get a buddy. Go find a buddy of yours, another chlorine, with seven valence electrons. And then we'll make a deal. What I'll do is I will agree then to give this electron to that one, and I'll agree to give that one to that one. So what you end up making is you end up making something called a chemical compound. And that chemical compound's formula is CaCl2. Why? Because calcium's looking to be plus two charge. And you'd have two chlorines, each being negative one. Capiche? Capiche. Now, one last thing with uh, regards to this. There's something called electronegativity, right? The ability to attract electrons. Well, the electronegativity difference for an ionic compound, or an ionic, yeah, compound or an ionic bond, the difference between the two things, the calcium and the chlorine, there's two things here. There's a bond here and a bond here. 
that difference will be greater than 1.01. .01. The end.